In the heart of downtown Tripoli, well hidden from view, the house that Muammar built. Back in the 1980s, the US had just bombed him out of his compound and he didn't want another close shave. He made it for extra protection because he learned a lesson from Bab al-Azaziyah. The tunnels there aren't as deep as they are here. Above ground, it's a party pad. Recently used to entertain by his son Mutasim, there's a pool and jacuzzi. Outdoor bars, a gym, bespoke kitchen, bedrooms and a spa with steam room and massage table. But behind the bushes, in these well-manicured gardens, is the building's real purpose. It's a sort of security you'd expect to see at Fort Knox. But you can see how thick he built the walls and the doors, basically to nuclear-proof these bunkers. The underground house could sustain life for a long time. Clean air and sewage systems support the living quarters. There's even a fully equipped operating theatre and a few discarded mementos. This place is a maze of tunnels and rooms. When the fighters first broke in here, the guards told them that below this floor are two more, but they don't have the keys to the door. Who knows who or what might be down there? Back above ground, Mutterson's gardener describes how his employer used to beat his staff. He says he last saw him in late August, just before he fled Tripoli. I saw him the day before the uprising, and he looked panicky and hid his face every time we looked at him. For the first time ever he acknowledged us and said goodbye, and then he left to wherever. The Gaddafi family will never get to use the new indoor pool, being built to look like a mosque from the outside. The new occupants plan to open the gardens as a place for local families to come and play. Sue Turton, Al Jazeera, Tripoli.